friends welcome back to another episode of heart to palate today i'm going to share the recipe for maharashtrian delicacy called puran pori which is definitely made during one of the navidya on ashtami during a uh, navratri season and that's why i'm showing you this for that we need uh, one cup of gram dal or chana dal one cup of gur or jaggery one cup of maida and one to two tablespoons of rice flour to roll the uh, puran poris then also we need for the puran we need saffron uh, sticks and few of the cardamom pods and also the nutmeg powder okay i'm going to uh, start with making the puran so i'm going to soak the dal for about half an hour and then pressure cook it you know your pressure cooker how it works so i'm going to put it for 8 minutes on my instant pot for high pressure and gets completely cooked and then i'll show you the next step and in the meantime when while the dal is soaking in water i'm going to start making the dough for it and for that i need a uh, maida and i'm going to add about half a teaspoon of salt to it and just the water and once the dough is uh, kneaded we need to soak that in oil basically that makes the puran puri really light and i'm going to show you the next step so before you soak the dal make sure there are no green particles like how you have those green uh, uh, chana dals in there you have to remove that and also anything with the brown husk make sure you take those out and then you wash it two three times and then you soak the dal so that's the step i forgot to mention earlier and now we are going to knead the dough for the puran poori it's just a plain maida or all purpose flour and half a teaspoon of salt and you have to knead this dough a little loose thoda patal te malaycha have to knead this dough a little bit uh, what you call loose you don't have to uh, do uh, knead it like your regular roti ka atta it has to be a little loose like so try to remove it whatever is stuck to your fingers with this spoon now you can see our dough has kind of come together i've added about 1 teaspoon of oil just to make sure everything comes together and this dough i'm going to put it in look at the consistency of the dough now it's very loose and then i'm going to put, set it in the container or vessel which is kind of flat okay so make sure you lay it out like this and now cover the entire dough with oil this this is what it may, uh, makes your puran poori really light so i'll show you how to cover it now completely cover the dough and leave it aside cover it and leave it aside until you make your puran now okay and that's what makes the puran poori really light now you can see our chana dal or gram dal has been completely cooked you can mush it with your hand like that it's completely mushy now chan she's liye ti ata okay so now we need to strain this dal in a colander and we have to make sure that the water is completely drained let it sit for about 10 15 minutes so that completely the water is drained and this water which is strained after straining what you get that we use for something called katachi amti and that is another delicacy that maharashtrians make it all the time when we make puran pori katachi amti is always an accompaniment you can see now you can see the water is completely strained keep it tilted if you feel so so that it's completely drained and you have to start making the puran right when the ho- uh, dal is hot okay so i'm going to put this in the non stick pan we are going to start making the puran add your jaggery to this and i'm going to shift this pan onto the medium flame Now transfer the pan onto the medium flame. Let the jaggery completely melt off, 
now it will become little liquidy and after that you have to keep stirring it until it gets that solidified stage again okay so make sure you don't leave it unattended because you don't want the burnt puran that's why i asked you to use the non stick pan now i'm just going to add quarter teaspoon of salt to it so whenever you're making sweets make sure you add a little bit of pinch of salt that gives a nice flavor and my jaggery is almost melted now you can see it's become little liquidy as compared to when we started now make sure you keep stirring it and don't let the dal stick to the bottom of the pan it will take about 15 20 minutes to actually get it solidified solidified again now it's been almost 13 minutes that i've been stirring this uh, puran you can see how liquidy it was initially and now it has come to that semi solid stage the trick to that my mom always used to say is uh, when you gather this puran like this try to keep your ladle like this and it should stand it should not fall that's the trick when it gets done that's what you know when it's done kaltha jari asel tari apan normally kaltha vaparto तो पसा उभा रहा पाजे मैं तो असा पड़ता का मन दैट्स अ ट्रिक वेन युअर पूरण इज कम्प्लिटली डन दैट्स वॉट यू नो सो एम गोइंग टू एड सम नटमेक पाउडर टू इट पूर्णा नटमेक ने छान चव ये जायफा ने आई ऑल्सो लाइक टू एड सम काडम पाउडर टू इट It's up to you, whichever flavor you like. I like both of them, and it really gives nice aroma to it. And the last thing is few strands of kesha or saffron. Now I've turned my flame onto meat. lowest uh thing it's on low flame now and just keep stirring and our puran is already done now i'm going to run this through the food mill you can use either the processor also that's fine too see how it's nicely done so while this puran is hot that's when you have to run it through the food mill or the puran yantra that's what we call and this measurement should make about 8 to 10 puran poya so and this and this is a perfect consistency for the puran that measurement of puran i told you we made about 10 uh, balls almost like table tennis balls the size as the tapramane you can see it so that makes medium size 10 uh, puran poris so now this is the dough that i showed you which has been sitting covered with oil on top of it and you are going to take only maybe this much if you can see if you make a ball of it it's not even less than half the size of your puran so now you take in the dough and it's about half the size of your puran ball and just start pulling it down slowly like so and then you close the ends and the size that you're closing that the side you're going to start rolling your puran poi that side you're going to keep it on the your rolling surface basically and you have to roll this in uh rice flour and then make the puran poori okay so you can start uh, stuffing four to five puran poolies like that and then start rolling it up and then you can go to the next batch okay so now dusted the rice flour you want to take the rice flour to cover the puran balls and with light hand you're going to start rolling it 
हलक हाथा ने पुरणपो लाटा You can dust the flour a little bit more if you want rice flour. Now you can see our puran puri is completely rolled. I usually keep separate tawa for the puran puri. That's what my mom also used to do it, so that you don't have too many sticking things on it. So it has to be nice and clean. Or whenever you're using your regular tawa, make sure you clean it very nice so that things are not stuck on it. Okay. So now I put it on medium flame. Manda atse aur tumala chhan bhazun ke achhe hi. So it has to be. Roasted really nice, but it has to be on medium flame, not too you know high flame. And I'm going to put it on the tawa. You can see that. Now you can see the bubbles coming up, so it's getting cooked on one side. So give it a minute or so, less than a minute, and then you're going to turn it over. Try to use the ladle, which is like a kavil tha ki ma. उलट न दिस इज टिपिकली गिवन बाय माय आई एंड विच इज वेरी प्रेशियस गिफ्ट फॉर मी विच आई ऑलवेज यूज फॉर माय पुरन पोड़ी एवरी इयर सो यू कैन सी इट्स ऑल बबलिंग नाउ सो यू कैन टर्न इट ओवर स्लोली यू कैन सी वन साइड या इट्स कैनिंग रोस्टेड प्रॉपरली सो विथ स्लो हैंड हल्क हाथा ने परता पाजे बी अपनी पुरणपोड़ी आता इट्स बीन नाइसली पफ्ट अप यू कैन सी दैट Let it be on this side for about 30-35 seconds. So I'm going to take it out. Now you can see it's nicely puffed up, and the other side is also done. थोड़ी सी गुलाबी सर झाली कि आप टी काढ़ा ही चहे. हरो. So now our pori is done. You can see it's chan kharpoos bhajliye, perfectly done, roasted. So I'll finish making the rest of it. Make sure you clean up the tawa every time you take out the pori after roasting it, so that it won't stick to the next pori now. Okay, otherwise this flour will get burnt and then it will stick onto your next pori. Okay. Serve the puran pori with warm milk and generous drizzle of ghee or clarified butter, and the recipe is in the description box below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe Heart to Palate.